How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Horror Basement. My name's Shane and today we're going to be doing something different. I recently bought a horror trivia game at the Walmart. And I am going to be competing against my wife in this game, who is just off screen. And if either of us get a question wrong, we are going to be drinking water, not alcohol, in uh, out of these nice glass bottles. Uh, and here we go, starting now. The rules of the game are we both get a stack of cards. Each card has two questions related to horror movies on it. And if you answer your opponent's both questions card correctly, you get to keep that card. And the winner is the first person that gets five weapons on the cards. That was good, right? The rules are... Every card has two questions. To keep the card and earn a point, you have to answer both questions correctly. And the first, every card has a murder weapon on it. There are five different murder weapons. The first person to collect three different murder weapons wins. All right, so the first question is, what was the name of Herschel Gordon Lewis's debut film? Uh, that would be Blood Feast? No. Oh, wow. Bad start. What was it? Uh, Living Venus. Ah. Uh, his first horror movie was Blood Feast. That's just a, a softcore porn. Well, you still got the question wrong. Bottoms up. All right, your first question. Where do the survivors in Dawn of the Dead take refuge? Is that the first one? Second one. A church? Incorrect. I can't see that far away. You don't have to cover the back of the card that intently. <laughs> uh, it is, I would have accepted just a mall, but it was the Monroeville Mall. So go ahead and There's take even a, shot. a plaque that I've considered taking you to. It's fairly close to here. Don't dox us. Your definition of fairly close and mine are very different. Fair. Next question. Machines come to life and become homicidal after a comet causes a radiation storm in this 1986 film starring Emilio Estevez? Estevez. Maximum Overdrive. Yes. Question two. What genetically created mutant breed of insect tries to destroy mankind in the 1997 film Mimic? The M Mimicites. No. It was Cockroach. Ah. Well, folks, we might be here for a minute. And just let this run. I'll just cut out all the awkward pauses. Except for that one. A little behind the scenes action, folks. How long are you shooting for this to be? Until one of us wins or one of us passes out. <laughs> as long as it takes. Got it. Oh man, I don't even know this one. What actress plays Claire Spencer in the movie What Lies Beneath? Drew Barrymore. Michelle Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Indeed. What 1990 film featuring Loom Diamond Phillips, you know, that guy from The Wiggles, Famous from the Wiggles, yeah. Has his character trying to bring the pentagram killer to justice. That one horror movie with Lou Diamond, Diamond Phillips in it. Good eye, Lou. <laughs> Big Wiggles fans in the household, too. Um, uh, absolutely no clue. The First Power. Oh, 
remember when we were talking about this before we started, and I was like, <laughs> I'll just win in six, it'll only take me six questions to get three cards. <laughs> yeah, and then I actually explained the rules and you still didn't get it. Fucking five minute video game. Okay, I'm going to give you a quote, and you need to name the movie. I'm trying to think of how to do a May, uh, Maine accent. Clue. I'm your number one fan. Ooh, it's that one Stephen King one, isn't it? Um, it has to be. It's Maine. <laughs> I don't know the name of that one. Which one are you thinking of? Uh, the one where he's the author and she like locks him away somewhere. I've never actually read it or seen the movie. And what happens? Does Did she hit him with the car? What happens to his ankle? I don't know. Okay. Well, um, is there a bear trap involved? It feels like there could be a bear trap. No, this is from Misery. Yeah. The one where it's Kathy Bates and. Spoilers for Misery. She hobbles him. She fucking sucks. I could picture Kathy Bates, but I could not okay. think of the name of the I'll movie. give you I'll give you a shot at this card since you had a picture of Kathy Bates' face in your mind. That's traumatic enough that I get points for it. What twenty thirteen Guillermo del Toro film features a young couple who takes in their two feral nieces and a supernatural spirit? La Llorona? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Mama. Oh. Take a shot. <laughs> Great time. How many points have we, we scored so far together? Zero. Nice. <laughs> In 2007, Rob Zombie directed what remake about a young Michael Myers? Halloween. After dying in the electric chair and making a deal with the devil, Horace Pinker continues his murderous ways in what 1989 film directed by Wes Craven? The Shocker. It's just Shocker. Oh, of course. You win a card. <laughs> you win a crossbow. Oh, boy. So, who has... Which one of us brought to the house... We're on a tangent. Uh, which one of us brought the Shocker... Uh, um, What's that thing poster that is in the uh, that was in the library back in the day? Um, <clears throat> ooh, me technically it was. <laughs> I forgot that existed. It I bought that box of random single issue comic books, and it was in the, was back, in the of back of one of, one of those. Of the comics, yeah. When I bought that box of like hundred of them off of Amazon. Sick. Well, you helped me get that point because I've never seen it. <laughs> What ho this one's easy. You got this. Okay. What holiday themed movie featured a crazed miner and a pickaxe? Satan's little helper. What holiday themed Black Christmas? <laughs> what holiday themed Silent Night, Deadly Night? It's, um, is it that one that's 4th of July themed? It's my bloody Valentine, baby. Oh. It's almost Valentine's Day, too. <laughs> it is. Well, drink. <laughs> if I drink this whole bottle of bourbon, it is your fault. I'm going to be damn impressed if you drink that entire bottle of bourbon. <coughs> <laughs> Easy questions. Who directed the original 1978 version of Halloween? John Carpenter. Who directed the 2003 slasher film House of a Thousand Corpses? Uh, Robert Zombert. Oh, I got another crossbow, though. It doesn't help me. <laughs> what is... 
the name of the serial killer in the 2004 movie Saw. Jigsaw. The Jigsaw Killer. Yes. I would have accepted Jigsaw or John Kramer. At the end of the slasher film crossover, Freddy vs. Jason, which horror icon walks away holding the other's severed head? So basically, who wins? Jason walks away holding Freddy's. Correct. You get a chainsaw. Which original Friday the 13th film did Jason get his hockey mask? Oh. Um, he got his hockey mask off of the jokey dude with the Which afro movie? in part three. Yes. This 1954 film features a prehistoric gill man who kidnaps a scientist named Kay Lagoon. and falls in love with her. The creature from the black. Yes, you get a machete. Ooh, nice. One more card, baby. What was George A. Romero's first installment of his classic zombie movie franchise? Dawn of the Living Dead. Is that your final answer? It's not Dusk. <laughs> yeah. Night of the Living Dead. Oh. Is Dawn of the Living Dead one of the movies? Dawn of the Dead is the second one, which we, we already had a question about. That's what threw me. It goes Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and the third one. <clears throat> Who is considered to be Hollywood's first scream queen? Uh, I say Janet Leigh. Nope. Who? Jamie Lee Curtis. That seems like an arbitrary distinction. Who is also known as Mistress of the Dark? Elvira. Yes. <laughs> She's so hot. She is. We love her. Official channel stance. We stan Elvira. <laughs> um... What sci-fi horror film does a black hole should be in what sci-fi horror film does a black hole unleash its evil upon the actors Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill? Horror movie takes place in space near a black hole. Black hole? Starring you, ever, you don't want to watch a movie called that. Um, starring Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. Uh, think Space of, Odyssey. Think of parts of a black hole, perhaps. The Nebula? Event Horizon. Oh. Drink more bourbon. I don't want to, and also you're going to win. You're only one weapon behind me. No, I know for a fact you know both of the answers on this question. Oh no. I mean, how long is the video? 13, 28, 29, 30. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll keep playing after this. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Name the movie. The Shining. Also, cover the. I'm not looking to cover it because I can see that far. <laughs> What series of children's horror books is written by author R.L. Stein? Goosebumps. Yeah, our son's new obsession, thanks to you. I, I hate this one. Alright, folks, as per the rules of the game as laid out by uh, the package, I have won, but uh, in a war making this a longer form video. Hope you're enjoying hanging out with the two of us. Uh, so we're changing the rules. I am going for all five weapons. Uh, 
off-screen wife does not have to keep drinking unless she wants to. I am going to keep drinking every time I get a question wrong. And we are going to go into... So I have the axe, the machete, and the crossbow. I need the crucifix and what else to win? I don't know. It's on the back of the box. You're on the back of the box. Next Pick question. axe, maybe? Do you already have the axe? I uh, yeah, I already said the axe. Okay. But I guess I'll still, ask, I'll still ask you questions. Okay. I could still pull a win. Pull d d victory from the jaws of defeat. What is the name of the horror film magazine that debuted in 1979 and is, return is returning to print in 2018? This is an old game. Uh, the last podcast on the left. <laughs> Noted magazine. Uh, it is uh, Fangoria. Fangoria. Weird. What 2005 movie contains elements of both the supernatural and a courtroom drama? 2005 movie. It's on your spreadsheet. Supernatural. Supernatural elements and courtroom drama. Uh, I guess I'll have to drink. What is it? The Exorcism of Emily Rose. We'll just cut that whole bit about the murder. Yeah. Um, complete this quote. I ate his liver with some... Fava beans and a nice candy? Yes. Did I do the tongue thing? No. <laughs> I'm not going to do my bad Hannibal impression. Not Thank gonna commit you. That to Thank you. Ooh, I don't even know this one. What are the names of the two priests that perform the exorcism on girl's name in The Exorcist? Reagan? That's the girl's name. That was going to be your like backup question to get the points. Oh. So, uh, Mike and Paul. The gospel according to, yeah. Um... No, but I'm just going to give you this because you got the girl's name. Because it was Father Marin and Father Karras. I may have been able to remember Marin, but we're playing the... Nice. Yeah. I have the crossbow and the chainsaw now. And folks, if you do purchase the game, adjust the rules to help your non-horror movie friends. So I'll say a solid 80% of the time, she just leaves the room when I'm watching movies for the channel. Jack Nicholson stars as a werewolf in what 1994 movie? I can't believe I don't know this. Jack Nicholson stars as a werewolf yeah. in a 1994 movie? Yeah. Well, I need to see this shit. <laughs> this shit's going on the channel. Um... Uh, the Shining 2, Secret of the Full Moon. Uh, no, you're going to be pissed. What? The name of it's just Wolf. Well, that's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a shot. This is some smooth drinking water I have here in this container. Just in case this is the video that finally gets us monetized, you know? It's not. This 1931 movie features the classic line, It's alive. It's alive. It's alive! Frankenstein? Yes. Nice. What horror franchise centers around a group of survivors who escape death 
and are killed one by one in freak accidents. Final destination. You got it. So we're all tied up at three. You have three different, Yeah, I have right? a crucifix. All right, your turn. Who was born at 6 a.m. on the sixth day of the sixth month? That'd be uh, Damien. Last name? Oh, um, it's the name of the corporation, too. This is the, um, uh, give me two seconds. Damien Thorne. Mm-hmm. They have last name listed, but I wasn't going to make you get it. What 1978 film features footage of supposedly real deaths and boasted about it being banned in 40 countries? Uh, that would be Faces of Death. Yeah. You already have the crossbow, don't you? I have three crossbows. <laughs> I love that for you, bestie. Who was the director of the 1982 movie Creep Show? We've seen that one too, haven't we? I don't think I've seen it with you, no. Who the fuck else are you watching movies with? Just myself. Um, All alone. Wes Craven. George A. Romero, who just keeps coming up. <laughs> You're going to get through his entire filmography in this one um, video, apparently. Yay. She's taking a shot of her own volition. She's knocked it back. Chasing it with a bottle of water. Smartly, like I am not doing. Picking up a card. I'm doing this all to help them because you're off camera. Which Peter Jackson film stars Michael J. Fox as a ghost hunter? Peter Jackson film. Michael J. Fox. Ghost hunter. Peter Jackson film. Ghost hunter. Michael J. Fox. Um, uh, is it The Frighteners? Yeah. Wes Craven directed what 1991 film about two adults and a juvenile who break into a brother and sister's house and find something disturbing? I've never heard of this movie. 19, uh, what do you say it was? 1991. It's not the children under the stairs. Mm -hmm. It's not. Who was it? The people under the stairs. Oh! <laughs> what 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 kind of weapon was that? That was a crucifix. Let us know down in the comments if you would have given me credit for that one. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, sweet. See, but that's what's called a call to action. It helps with engagement. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm familiar. I worked for a in Night of the Comet, what popular Cindy Lauper song was playing when Regina and Samantha were dancing in the mall? One more time. In Night of the Comet, what popular Cindy Lauper song? Girls just want to have fun. Correct. Which movie box cover shows one of the title bad guys popping out of a toilet? The Ghoulies. It's actually just Ghoulies. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, another chainsaw. This is why they play the three and not five, I feel. I mean, they weren't expecting you to turn it into a drinking game. This is supposed to be just fun with friends. What does the green liquid contain in the 1987 film Prince of Darkness? Um, the Souls of the Damned? No. 
What is it? The essence of Satan. A lot. I'm getting caught on a lot of technicalities here. I feel that one was not even close. Hand me the bourbon. We're gonna have to bleep all the times I said bourbon in this to keep us monetized. I don't think we're gonna get monetized, <laughs> baby. What classic horror movie is set in Haddonfield, Illinois? Is it Children of the Corn? I know this. And it's not it because that's some made up town. Probably in Maine. <laughs> I don't know. You've seen this movie. You've seen the sequel to this movie. Illinois. You've seen <laughs> Nothing the re remarkable you've seen happens the remake in Illinois. of this movie. Do I like this movie? <laughs> I can't. Is that the Mike Ma Halloween? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know that I would count that, but okay. <laughs> what are the seven deadly sins featured in the movie <laughs> Seven? This is just a uh, Catholicism question, which... <laughs> All right, baby. Name the seven deadly sins. Gluttony, sloth... <laughs> Lust. Is it the only ones I commit? I don't know the rest. Um. God, I read Smut too, where the bitch was getting fucked by all seven sins. <laughs> and I do not remember. <laughs> Pride? That's it. You're up to four. Uh, I give up. We are looking for greed, oh, lust, greed. envy, sloth, gluttony, pride, and wrath. You can take that part out of the smut out. <laughs> no, that's standard. Who are the only two actors who have faced off against an alien, a terminator, and a predator? Terminator and a predator. An alien, a terminator, and a predator. Um This is not my uh I'm gonna say Arnold Schwarzenegger. The question was for two. To what? Only two actors. Was I right? No. Well then, what, who were the two? Lance Henriksen mm -hmm. and Bill Paxton. Hmm. Interesting. Not my wheelhouse. No, but drinking my bourbon is. How did young Jason Voorhees meet his demise at Camp Crystal Lake? Um, he drowned while two camp counselors were fucking. Correct. Which installment of Halloween did Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, Janet Lee uh, star in together? Which is their way of saying... Jamie Lee Curtis's mom had a cameo. It's definitely not three. Two? Four. Four, final answer. Halloween H2O. Eight? No. It's like, um... Don't make me do the time. Oh, God. So... It's like seven. <laughs> if we count Halloween three... 
What actress played the heroine Helen Lyle in the 1992 film Candyman? Um, the name of the actress? Mm-hmm. And you're not um, asking me about Tony Todd, who is as hot as Elvira. No, but agreed. Cool. So I get the point? No. <laughs> that was not the question. <laughs> um... Her, she looks like her name is... It's a state? Her name is a state? Yeah. Um, hmm. Ah, yes. New Hampshire. No. I give up. Virginia Madsen. Ah. You absolutely would not have gotten the next question right either, though, so it's fine. Okay. Name the movie from the quote. We have such sights to show you. Interview with a vampire. Final answer? Yeah. Um, the quote, I'll give you a second quote <laughs> to help you. Um, another famous quote from this movie. Jesus wept. The Exorcist? It was based on a short story written by Clive Barker. Clive Barker. Didn't he write westerns too? I don't know. What, what is I'm it? not hyper fixated on westerns. I'm hyper fixated on horror movies. I don't know. The answer is Hellraiser. Oh. Uh... The other question was about aliens, so you wouldn't have gotten it anyway. What are you shooting over there? Bourbon. Oh, nice. <laughs> Bourbon. <laughs> this 2000s film, 2000 film, is about two sisters named Ginger and Bridget who struggle with the idea that one of them is a werewolf. Ginger snaps. Yeah. Which film in the Alien series is set in Antarctica? Alien vs. Predator. Yes. Nice. It's a fucking crossbow. It's a crossbow. So still no? You're just missing one now, right? No, I'm still missing two. I have four crossbows, though. <laughs> Those must be the easy. In the 1982 movie Basket Case, what does the character Dwayne carry in his basket? A head. I'll give you, I'll give you the point. It's his deformed, formerly conjoined twin, Belial. Or, uh, as the back of this card says, his Siamese twin, which is not an appropriate, politically correct term anymore. Um, mm. In Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, what is Jamie Lloyd's relation to Michael? Is Jamie Lloyd the actress or the character? The character. Niece. Correct. You get a machete. I have you... four now. I wow. just need the axe. I have the chainsaw, the crossbow, the crucifix, and the machete. Ooh. I just need the axe. Wait, so what is the what is the one I'm looking for? I have the axe, the machete, the crossbow. The crucifix. And what else? Chainsaw? Oh, I need the chainsaw and the crucifix. Okay. Kate Bosworth and Thomas Jane star in this 2016 supernatural film in which their son's nightmares become reality. Oh, fuck. I saw the commercial for this, too. 
looked kind of dumb. Um, yes, I'm taking, I'm taking a drink. Before I wake, you would have been the next one too. What was it? What items is the killer famous for wearing in the 1976 film Alice, Sweet Alice? Um, black gloves. No, a yellow raincoat and translucent mask. Alright, well, it's been a minute. Stop just get looking at me like that. Whatever that is, it's gone. What Jennifer Love Hewitt? led horror movie revolves around a group of teens that hit a mysterious stranger with their car. I know what you did last summer. Correct. What 2005 Eli Roth film set in Slo Slovakia featured the sadistic torturers, tortures of the elite hunters? Two thousand five Eli Roth film featuring a bunch of torture. Suspira. You're thinking of Suspiria, which is a seventies Dario Argento film. What two thousand five Eli Roth film is often lumped into the torture porn genre. Oh, this is that one with uh, You're thinking of a Serbian film. Don't say it. I don't know. It's hostile. Oh. If any police are watching this video, I told her she could stop drinking when the normal game ended. Finger guns. Vincent Price starred in this 1959 ghostly classic and invited five people to survive the night. House on Haunted Hill. What big cat does Malcolm McDowell's character turn into after mating with a human woman in the 1982 film Cat People? What type of cat? What big cat? Um, uh, it doesn't look like a tiger. Like a, um, a jaguar, perhaps? Or a puma? No. Black panther. Fuck. But I feel like a jaguar and a panther are the same thing. Yeah. Okay, well, give me no, the card. No, you weren't right. It's a black panther. and You said jaguar. That's wrong. Guys, get down in the comments. <laughs> If jaguars you, and panthers are the same fucking If you thing. called him the pink jaguar, everyone would look at you funny. <laughs> That's my secret. Everyone looks at me funny anyway. Take a drink, motherfucker. Ooh, I know you'll know. Hmm. You might know both of these. Nice. Is it an axe? It is. If it's an axe, I win. Holy shit. I'm going to give you the first two words and I'll let you guess and then I'll give you the whole question. Paris Hilton. <laughs> The House of Wax. Correct. In the 2017 movie Get Out, what technique does the mother use to get her daughter's boyfriend to quit smoking? Cold turkey. In, in Jordan Peele's film Get Out, 
what technique does the mom use to get the main character to quit smoking? This is for all the models. <laughs> I don't know. It It doesn't it's like it's it's a word. It's not like a specific thing to the movie. Describe to me what she does. Yells. Well, we're looking for hypnosis. Oh, fuck. That's like what the whole movie is about. <laughs> Wrong again. The whole movie is about systemic Listen, race. Listen, I've All right. seen it. I okay. understand. Very good. It's a main plot point, though. Yes, no. How, how bad has the camera been auto-focusing every time I lean forward like that, by the way? No clue. Sweet. What type of animal terrorizes Jennifer Conley and Dario Argento's phenomena? Give me that one more time. What type of animal terrorizes Jennifer Conley and Dario Argento's Phenomena? Uh, dog. A chimpanzee with a straight razor. Jesus. Where is the 2008 movie The Strangers entirely set? An Airbnb? You're thinking of Barbarian. A timeshare? Get more general. A beach house? More general. A house? There you go. It's just a house. But you are, you know... It's Too the, specific. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now that you did that, I don't feel as if I was confident about the second one. But now I feel less so. Buster Keaton's granddaughter, Camilla Keaton... Starred in what controversial 1978 graphic revenge flick that was later remade in 2010? Graphic revenge flick? 1978 graphic revenge flick that was remade in 2010. I spit on your grave. Yes. Really? You fucking nailed it. <laughs> oh, I already have a crossbow. Yeah, I have seven fucking crossbows <laughs> over here. All right. What hangs above Tina's bed in A Nightmare on Elm Street? Crucifix. Yes. In the 2006 film Silent Hill, what sound signals the transformation of the town into a nightmarish dimension? Foghorn. It's an air raid siren. I'll give it to okay, you. Yeah. It's another cross. Oh, no. <laughs> Rip. Okay. We play until new rule added. <laughs> we play until the bottle of bourbon is empty. And then we count total cards to see who. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Pick up the cards you dropped. What 2010 psychological... Don't play with things off camera that make noise. You're confusing the audience. We don't have an audience. 
Oh, this is going to be insanely popular. We're going to have to do this every weekend. What 2010 psychological horror film contains a sun that astral projected into a realm called the Further? Uh... This is a movie that you have heard of and probably seen a specific scene from. 2010. The Sixth Sense. 2010. <laughs> Final answer. Log it in. All right. Insidious. Oh. There's astral projection in that movie? Yeah. It's like, um, it's like Poltergeist, but fucking stupid. <laughs> What 2005 movie directed by John Gulliger was the first horror film winner for Project Greenlight? What the fuck is Project Greenlight? Um, is it 2005? Yeah. John Gulliger? Yeah. Man I've never heard of? Yeah. Um, the Grudge. Feast. What actress plays Elizabeth in the 1980 movie The Fog? Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. She was a popular gal. She was in high demand. You don't need to take a shot. Just, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to give you a quote, and you're going to name the movie. Yes. Good Ash, Bad Ash, I'm the guy with the gun. Um, uh, fuck. The Evil Dead is still a blind spot. Um, it's, uh, either Evil Dead 2 or Army of Darkness. Which one are you locking in? Uh, Evil Dead 2. Ooh, it was Army of Darkness. Right, what kind of... I'll give it to you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what is the name of the biological weapon used to kill the people through their water supply in the movie The Crazies? Absolutely no clue. The Trixie. Huh. Neat. Does it give a date for when the crazies came out? Because I feel like that was like 60s. It does not, but I can Google it real quick. Okay. It looks like we got like one wrong answer on my part left. 2010. Divorce if you don't get these right. <laughs> what is the name of the camp in the first installment of Friday the 13th? Can't sleep away. Sleep away camp. That is <laughs> a different, this is a different movie franchise. What is the camp from Friday the 13th called? Crystal Lake. Camp yes. Crystal Lake. Correct. Correct. <laughs> what does the photographer find lurking in the sewers in the 1984 film Chud? So I have to tell you what Chud stands for? Yes.
something humanoid underdwellers? You gotta give me the whole thing. Is what I have correct? I mean, the U is for underground. That's the blame that on you, the fact that you're shit can drunk. Yeah, I so am not. Humanoid underground dwellers. City? No. What do they do? I, they're, they're humanoid underground dwellers, but why are they everyone else's problem? Are they charred? <laughs> are they cinematic? Are what? they Cambodian? <laughs> <laughs> what think of crimes against humanity that start with C? Are they cannibalistic? Cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. Also, it's an axe, so like you already have one. No, I don't. I win. Oh shit! <laughs> an axe was what I needed. Well, goddamn. Go ahead and, uh, I want to, I'm curious how many actual cards you have. We're still rolling, so, you know, don't say anything off color, for God's sakes. Like, blaming the Cambodians for all of this. I was just thinking of C-words, okay? <laughs> how many do you have? How many do you have? Seven. I also have Seven. Nice. Well, there's no sense in leaving this here. What are we at on um, time, darling? 55.30. Love to see it. So anyway, folks, that was the game. I actually had very low expectations, considering this was a $10 um, box trivia game we bought at the Walmart, but it has a an appropriately difficult mixture of questions that everyone knows about, like, Friday the 13th and Halloween, a lot, along with a lot of, like, hyper-specific questions about, like, the names of actors and actresses that no one knows. Uh, so yeah, overall, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit subscribe, go to Walmart, buy this game, and play it with <laughs> This is not sponsored. We're not sponsored, but, um, bear in mind that the fact that, um, the questions are weighted differently when you play based on the weapon or whatever... Yeah, I mean, like, realistically, you know, there's no way that off-camera wife would win this game if it were entirely Rematch. Fair. If this gets... If this video gets 20 likes, we will do a rematch in the second episode of what I guess is a technically not really a podcast, because just more footage of me, but longer form videos. Anyway... See you next time. Thank you. Good night.